Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taoyuan District Agricultural Improvement Station. The outlines of major research activities are In 1982, the Taipei and Shinju District Agricultural Experiment Stations were merged into one and renamed as the Taoyuan District Agricultural Improvement Station or TYDIAS. The station site is now located at Xinwu Township, Taiyuan Shen, in the northwestern part of Taiwan Island. The station has an area of 30 hectares and is one of seven DAISs under the administration of the Council of Agriculture, Executive Yuan. The service areas of the station cover Taipei, Taiyuan, and Xinju Shens, as well as Jilong and Xinju cities. The total service area is 520,976 hectares. However, the total arable land is only 116,727 hectares. There are about 507,353 farmers, or 5.9% of the total population of 8,666,214 in this district. Most soils are about 74% lateritic loam, with a strong acid below 5.5 pH. The weather is characterized by heavy rain and high temperatures during the summer, while cold, cloudy and wet in the winter. The annual precipitation ranges from 1,710 to 4,900 millimeters. The annual mean temperature is 22 degrees centigrade. Strong monsoon accompanied by salty mist occurs along the coastal areas starting from early October to late March. This period is unfavorable to crop growth. The station consists of three technical sections, crops improvement, crops environment, and agricultural extension, four administrative offices, general affairs, accounting, personnel, and the property office, and a substation, Taipei, as well as a branch, Wufeng. Each technical section comprises of several research laboratories. There are 78 staff members, including 66 researchers and 12 administrative persons in this station. In addition, the research facility is assisted by a group of 70 skilled laborers. The Crop Improvement Section the crop improvement section has five laboratories, rice, dry land crop, vegetable, floriculture, pomiculture, and food processing. The main objectives of the rice project are varietal improvement for disease resistance, good eating quality, lodging resistance, and cold tolerance. Two promising varieties, Shinju 64 and Taikeng 14, have been released to farmers for commercial production. The cultural improvement of ratoon rice and the application of herbicide give promising results in reducing labor and other costs. A portion of rice paddy has been used for culturing quality rice. Farmers are trained to adopt new cultivation methods and to grow the quality rice. Rice harvested will be graded, small packed, and sold for better prices. Paddy fertilized with organic compost has only been emphasized in recent years for sustainable farming. A new sweet potato variety, Taiyuan 1, was released and extended because of its outstanding quality in making sweet potato chips. In addition, an excellent sweet potato variety, Taiyuan 2, was registered as a leaf vegetable. In order to strengthen the adjustment and utilization of farmland, several cropping systems have also been developed and expanded. The non-tillage of group production practice was done after the harvest of strawberry. Then seeds of super sweet corn were sown on ridges formerly planted with strawberry. The same practice can be applied on grouped production of melon. To enhance the soil fertility of fallow land, sesbania was grown in the summer, clover, Chinese milkvetch, and rapeseed were planted in the winter. For the research of special crops, a total of over 300 medicinal plants have been collected. A high gelatinous masona line, Taiyuan U3, was selected. Selection of Taiyuan Yam 8304 without browning was obtained. It is suitable for salads and cooking. For vegetable breeding, Chinese cabbage Taiyuan AVDRC2 
green onion, Taoyuan 3, water convolvulus, Taoyuan 1, and head mustard, Taoyuan 1, have been released. For the improvement of cultural techniques, plug seeding and container culture for producing short-term leaf vegetables have been developed and already extended to farmers. Organic farming, construction of plastic houses, and shading techniques have also been carried out for increasing yield and improving the quality of leaf vegetables in suburban areas. In order to maintain freshness and high vegetable quality, the technology of pre-cooling has been developed in post-harvest research and has already been extended to farmers. For pot flowers, the development of medium formula, the improvement of fertilization, irrigation systems, plant height control, forcing culture, and breeding technology have been developed for poinsettia. A year-round production of Kalenko has also been developed. In order to meet the requirements of the market during Chinese New Year's, both flowering time and sepal color of hydrangea were regulated. The forcing culture and the improvement of cultural techniques for freesia were studied and a number of promising varieties were selected. The development of an automatic bedding system and the improvement of cultural techniques to reduce production costs and to improve plant quality have also been carried out. For pomiculture, 11 superior clones of Tankan Haile have been selected. A trial has been carried out to study fruit characteristics and yield in Shinju Xian. Strawberry varieties Harunoka, Taiyuan 1, and Taiyuan 2 have been bred and extended to farmers. Strawberry runners temporarily pre-transplanted on tubes could force flowering and maturate earlier, as well as raise quality and yield of fruits. Processing techniques for instant xian zhao and dehydration persimmon using dehumidification methods were developed. The instant xian zhao processing technique has been transferred to the Guanxi Farmers Association for large-scale production. The dehumidification method of persimmon has also been released to the Beipu Farmers Association. This could replace the traditional sun-drying method and reduce the rate of rotting by 70%. The Crop Environment Section The Crop Environment Section has four laboratories, plant disease, insect pests, soil fertilizer, and agricultural machinery. For the control of plant diseases, application of soil amendments into seeding box and field to control soil borne diseases are the current research of the Plant Disease Laboratory. Profound results were obtained in controlling clubfoot and soft rot diseases of cruciferous vegetables. It was also effective in controlling diseases on potted ornamentals and taro. Forecasting and monitoring disease incidents of rice blast and sheath blight were established by analyzing meteorological factors. Warning notices were announced in proper time. A plant protection station was also set up to provide service to farmers in diagnosing crop disease and insect pests. As to the control of insect pests, rice water weevil was first reported by the Taiyuan DIAS in 1990. It was effectively controlled after a complete ecological study of the pest. In order to gain an effective control of insect pests and to reduce the residues of insecticides, the practice of applicable insecticide dose and organic compost farming techniques were encouraged. The practices developed were emphasized on the integrated method of physical and biological control and the application of non-chemical practice. Yellow sticky board and sex pheromone methods were developed to control the pests. For the soil problems of this district, the method of proper application of fertilizers was studied. Farm wastes were used in the manufacturing of cultural media Taokai 1, 2, and 3. Simple compost boxes were designed to enhance fermentation. These developments have had a positive effect on organic agriculture. Various farming machines for horticultural crop cultivation and management have been developed by the Taoyuan DIAS. These include machines for making indigenous media, an automatic seeding machine for vegetable seedling production, a seedling and transporting system in greenhouses, 
a leaf vegetable seeding machine, a two-row riding type vegetable transplanter, a semi-automatic vegetable transplanter, an automatic raw type sprayer, and a sweet potato harvester. All of these machines have now been demonstrated and will be released to farmers soon. Taipei Substation The Taipei Substation is located at the boundary of Sulin and Sunshai Townships in Taipei Xian. The most important work is to develop promising horticultural crops near urban Taipei. The construction of plastic and net houses and the establishment of automatic management models for culturing vegetables and flowers and for promoting yields and upgrading qualities have been emphasized. In recent years, studies on the techniques of making compost for growing organic compost vegetables and extending the technology in the Taipei area have been carried out. An area of low yielding rice along the coastal area was converted to water oat, watermelon, and sweet potato to help increase farmers' profits. For chrysanthemums, a total of 13 introduced varieties were selected and released to farmers. Research and extension are also aimed at regulating flowers by lighting and short day treatments and improving the cultures of pot and bedding flowers. Breeding of bulb flowers, Lycoris aurea, have also been carried out and significant results obtained. The Wufeng Branch Station The Wufeng Branch Station is located at Wufeng Township, Xinju Shen. Its experimental farm has 15 hectares, 50% of which are forest. The elevation of the station is 1,000 meters above sea level. The mean temperature of the station is 17 degrees centigrade, suitable for vegetables favorable to a cool environment. The main objectives of the station are seed propagation of Sichuan mustard, varietal improvement of radish, head mustard, and ornamental radish. Demonstration and extension of flowers and ornamental radish cultural techniques are also being carried out. The Agricultural Extension Center The Extension Center of the Taiyuan BIAS has three laboratories, Agricultural Extension, Extensional Material, and Agricultural Management. The Agricultural Extension Laboratory is responsible for training personnel of production and marketing groups and providing information service. The 4-H Club is aimed at educating young farmers and offering loans for career development. Home Economics handles various means of raising living standards on farms. For example, upgrading the living conditions of aged farmers and providing medical care are two main goals. In addition, assisting tour leisure agriculture and developing metropolitan agriculture are also tasks of the laboratory. The Extensional Material Laboratory is responsible for publishing agricultural information, technical news, bi-monthly agricultural activity and extension pamphlets. These papers are free to personnel of the production and marketing groups, young farmers and extensionists. Agricultural news is provided immediately through newspaper, television, magazine, and videotape. Other tasks include responding to farmers' mail, telephone calls, receiving visitors, and conducting short-term training courses. The Agricultural Management Laboratory is responsible for assisting and entrusting cultivation teams, for organizing comprehensive training and production and marketing groups arrangement, for advising squad production projects, and production and marketing management technology. It also assists in the improvement of grading, packing farm produce, and the guidance of trademarks for unique produce from a specific locality. This will enhance the value of farm produce. The station appreciates all the encouragement and will certainly be more aggressive in serving farmers of this district in research, experiment, and extension affairs. The aforementioned information only represents the major tasks of this DIAS. Any comments given by distinguished guests are always welcome. Thank you very much.